Hello everyone and welcome to another video and welcome to one of the most rugged, practical and one of the best selling family SUVs, the Nissan X-Trail Extremer. Let's find out everything in detail about this SUV. Now before we move forward, please consider subscribing to my channel and also make sure to press the bell icon so that you never miss any video updates from my channel. Did you click it? You finished? Sure? Alright. Now the new 2020 Nissan X-Trail Extremer has a lot of changes compared to the standard X-Trail version. So let's start digging out in detail into what are the changes that have been provided. So starting off with this bumper, so this bumper has this body cladding around so the plastic uh, claddings are given so that uh, you don't damage your bumper when you go off-roading. There are also these uh, garnishing, plastic garnishing given around the fog lamps. So underneath there is like a skid plate that has been provided. Coming to the headlights, the headlights are standard halogen bulb uh, headlights but the DRLs are LED DRLs, even the fog lamps are standard uh, halogen. There is also a camera mounted out here. The, the, there are a 360 camera system on the X-Trail Extremer. So the, the grille is the V-Motion uh, design grille from the Nissan which has been evident in pretty much every car that you see nowadays from their lineup which is the Maxima, which is the Qashqai and so many other cars that they are introducing this grille into. So simplicity and ruggedness is the idea behind the X-Trail Extremer and that is quite visible when you look at the car because there are some fantastic bits that have been provided with the car starting off with the rims. So these rims are 18 inch uh, gloss black uh, rims and then you find these plastic claddings around again to protect the, the fender and then there are there's also this plastic bit which has been provided at the bottom again which comes out from the side of the body. These blacked out uh, mirrors, side mirrors again they are uh, without any blind spot warning system and non-power foldable so again these are rugged so that there, there is no mechanical bits, uh, electrical bits to it. So this just has the LED turn signal that has been built in into that and you find these chrome surrounds around the windows and the frame. There is also this blacked out roof rail that has been provided and then the handles are again chrome handles with this button system so you have to, you can lock and unlock uh, the, the doors using this button. There is also this extreme Badging, which is always there to remind you the X-Trail maintains pretty much the similar look from the older generation but there are more bits that have been added again at the bottom that you see these uh, bumpers which have cladding around them again to protect them so that when you go off-roading again you don't damage them but there is no exhaust which is visible so the exhaust tip is actually under the, the car so it's just a single tip which has been provided but then that has been cleverly hidden out here also get this uh, spoiler and also a parking light. Also the tail lights has the mixture of LED and the halogen bulb the same way as the headlights. Opening the boat you can use the, the button provided out here or you can just find your leg and open the boat. Now in the back this is a seven seater option so with all the seven seats up you could get 445 liters of boot space. Now after the, the third row of seats are folded using these straps when you fold these seats down so you get 565 liters of food space now when you fold the middle row the second row of seats is also foldable that is foldable in a ratio of 40 to 20 to 40 so when you fold that that comes the, the food space comes to 1996 liters although you have to go all the way on the side of the car to fold these seats down there is no dedicated space to put this food separator anywhere there is also a full size spare wheel that has been provided uh, in the uh, underside of the boot and uh, the boot is actually relatively very flat inside you would also find some of the points to hang your shopping bags and also there is a boot light that has been provided practicality and simplicity continues even on the inside you get soft touch plastics everywhere even on the dashboard and also on the door cars but there's this plastic bit that they put shiny one and also there is normal plastics around the glove box and underneath where, where the 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 other side of the dashboard which is underside of it and when you come to the dashboard screen so you get a small screen which is like a multi-informational display where you can see various bits like how good are you doing in terms of the average what is the different kinds of 4x4 or the two-wheel drive that you are on the chassis control and also various bits that you can get from the information screen 
engine and then you get the uh, different gauges on both the sides coming to the steering wheel the steering wheel is telescopic and tilt so you can do either of that and get your position you get this cut in the at the bottom so it's a it's not the round steering but like a sport type steering and it has thinner spokes by the way and as a result there are buttons which are a little crowded on both the sides of the steering wheel so on your uh, right side you would get the cruise control uh, 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 controls and on the left side you would find the infotainment controls and all of that are too uh, too packed around and very very uh, crowded around in that region and as a result you may have to understand for a while what, what every button functions and have to memorize it a little bit the steering wheel actually is a leather covered steering wheel along with the white stitching the infotainment system is pretty straightforward you get a five inch uh, no color display but then that is just the normal non touch screen display that you get but there are buttons around for easy navigation you get your fm audio media and also the different tracks and the menu button that you want and there is just one single setting button that you can go inside and see what all the different uh, 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 media settings that you can do on the car so you get six speaker music system on this car and uh, also there is a 360 camera system the display of which is on this one and it feels a tad too small when you are uh, navigating uh, using that 360 control you can switch into the 360 mode using the display button which has been given out here so you can switch on that 360 camera system and see all the four cameras while you, even if you are not using the reverse and you can switch on to one of the right side camera on your screen that will take half of it and then honestly it's a little small i wish the screen was a little big so that the display because the cameras are are, are of good quality that they are uh, the showing on the screen but it's only that the screen is a little small at the bottom you would find the ac controls the ac controls are straightforward it's a dual climate control uh air con system that you would find and then it's it's just straightforward buttons where the, you can just switch it on and off the auto feature and the different modes now in terms of uh, connectivity you would get uh, a cd player you would get uh, bluetooth you also get usb and also an auxiliary port now coming to the charging points the same usb port can be used as a charger and also there's an auxiliary port and there is 120 watt power socket uh, that has been provided at the bottom of the aircon and also 120 watt power socket in the handrest in terms of storage the storage uh, features are pretty all right i mean you can put one liter worth of bottle in the door cart and also some more stuff in the on the side there is also this uh, uh the storage at the bottom of the air conditioning where you can put your phones and this is this has got this nice roughness to it so that your phones don't slip there are also these two cubby holders now these two cubby holders have a very interesting feature so the partition between them you can remove that plastic bit and turn it around and put it like this and what it will do is it will turn into the 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 air cooled uh, uh, this thing cup holders so it will turn into an air cooled cup holders and as a result you can keep your drinks pretty cool and they are also deep enough so that you don't spill your drinks there is also a glove box storage compartment and there is also a handrest which is pretty big enough in that sense there is also the different drive mode selector out here but this car doesn't have any dedicated modes for uh, for driving but just the 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 drive selector which is your two by two wheel drive four wheel drive and the intelligent system which you get with this car now coming to the seats the seats on this car are fabric seats so you get the fabric seats along with the big headdress and this this sort of design that you get on the on the middle part of it but they are super comfortable and pretty good on a long journey so the driver seat is adjustable in six different ways manually and the passenger seat is adjustable in four different ways while in the back you can just slide but the rear seats are foldable in a ratio of 40 is to 20 is to 40 we come back to uh, to that when we go in the back and there is also these big uh, sun visors that have been provided so if you keep them straight chances are you might just cover the entire screen but <laughs> i'm it's a pretty neat feature because they've given it quite big so that when you want the the sun rays not to penetrate a lot inside the car then you can use these and they will block quite well there is also this uh, sunglass holder at the top nowadays they seem to have disappeared but then some of these cars still have them and which is quite good 
and uh, you also don't get a sunroof with this car so this car comes just the normal roof that you get and otherwise like everything is pretty much simple in this car when you sit inside you can just straight forward get into the car start the car and then just drive off straight away well in the back you again get the fabric seats along with this design that you get in the middle but the seats in the rear are a little on the upside and i can feel when i am sitting here because you feel a little raised up and like like you get quite a bit of visibility when you are into the seats but otherwise the seats are very comfortable again you can slide the seats like this and also you can recline them also if you want to so that you can change the angle and also if the if the passengers in the back want some little space then you can do that also you can slide your legs under the seat and there is quite a bit of space underneath them so that you can relax your legs on a longer journey also get the handrest in out here by pulling this strap out here and you get two cup holders out here and you can see you can convert this into a two seater along with this and also uh, you can use this uh, by by putting the handrest down and the the 40s to 20s to 40 ratio that these seats fold down into also the transmission tunnel isn't very big so the third passenger sitting in the middle would also be comfortable again you get plastic uh, door cards around and also small bit of storage on the door card and some uh, net pockets out here which you would find and there are also dual uh, air vents that has been provided in the back but you can just use this uh, slider to just control the airflow now i somehow managed to get into the third row of the seats but then it's pretty cramped and i can barely move around also the seats are not reclinable so they are just fixed like out here and also i am pretty much sitting at the back end of it so the the floor is pretty raised and the seats are very down you can see it from my posture as well so if you have legs these seats aren't meant for you these seats are more specifically for the kids and just two of them can probably sit here but anyways this is a good thing to give this feature because at least it's still a seven seater where you can put your kids out here and if not then you can use this as a five seater and loads of boot space after by folding these seats and in terms of storage you would uh, get like two cup holders out here and also one uh, phone holder that you can put in the back powering the xtrail extremer is a 2.5 liter 16 valve dual overhead camshaft four cylinder non turbocharged petrol engine that produces 169 brake horsepower and it produces 233 newton meters of torque and this is mated to an extronic cvt the cvt is a bit sluggish in its initial response but once it gets going it's pretty all right also there are no paddle shifters but there is a manual option that you can put the gearbox into but i mean it's a cvt so anyways the gearing doesn't matter it's better to just drive in an automatic and anyways you will get the maximum fuel efficiency out of this car as a result of that but in terms of efficiency you would get uh, anywhere between 11 to 11.5 i mean that is what i have been getting but the claimed average is around 12.5 kilometers per liter which is pretty close to the the official figures and which is pretty honest in my opinion like at least whatever it is they've just put it across so the x trail comes with an intelligent all wheel drive system and as a result the car would just uh, switch itself from two wheel drive to four wheel drive and whatever the the traction demands so from the car so it will just keep switching as, as and when required and that is pretty better in terms of the the way it deals with the the power distribution and sure if i can demonstrate it to you with the with the bit of an off roading capability so just put it into 4x4 traction control off and here we go this thing can also do the off roading bit so you can manually take over but uh, i think the cameras are too jittery and shaking so i wouldn't go much into the four wheel drive but it it can do i mean you can get this you know from you can get an idea from how how it is so uh yeah 
it's, it's a simple two wheel drive four wheel drive and the option is pretty simple there's a dial given at the bottom where you can just switch the car from two wheel drive four wheel drive or if you want the intelligent system to just manage it for you while you just keep uh, driving the car now this comes with an electronic uh, power steering which is actually speed sensitive so at the uh, lower speeds the the steering is pretty smooth but at the higher speeds it would just uh, harden up a little bit so that you get the idea of uh, you know the, the 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 turns aren't sharper when you try to turn around although the ride is pretty comfortable the suspension setup on this is pretty nice and uh, there are torsion bars in the front and the back and strut setups on both the ends so as a result the roll is pretty minimum and the steering because it's a speed sensitive uh, steering wheel so there are lots of steering rotations that you have to go through before you get an actual turn so initially nothing happens at, at lower speeds when you are going which is so at lower speeds initially the steering takes almost a quarter rotation before it will start turning the 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 wheels and then after that another rotation there is everything that keeps happening now in the braking department the car has normal four disc brakes but also it comes with the engine braking to make it the the engine braking a very smooth and an efficient process and that is quite visible now in terms of safety department this car comes with two airbags front passenger and the driver airbag abs system tire pressure monitoring system you also get the child isofix points but there is no blind spot warning system and that is something which i feel was was uh, if it was added it would have been really nice but apart from that you get the usual stuff your hill hold uh, hill hold assist and that's pretty much about it in terms of the safety department the noise uh, uh, inside the wind washing is pretty low compared to the the other cars uh, because mainly to do with the fact that there is no sunroof it's probably to do with the fact and also the build quality is pretty good the, the doors are thick and everything around that you see is built to last so there is quality definitely and as a result the noise and the vibration levels are kept in check anyways this car is something which which is an everyday family kind of SUV where you can get your stuff done quite easily and the pricing for this particular model is uh, 119,900 dirhams so that is pretty okay because you get seven seats you get a four wheel drive and you can do the dune bashing occasionally which is which is not very like light bit of uh, off-roading that you can do with the car and also on the regular days you can go shopping and then put a lot of stuff and then also fa uh, ferry your family around so in a way it's a it's a pretty decent car and i would definitely recommend to shortlist this car if you are, are planning to look into the budget seven seater versions and this is definitely this should go into your list anyways give it a thumbs up if you like this video and if you want to subscribe to my channel click here and if you want to watch more videos click here until we meet next time Bye-bye.